Welcome to episode 8 of season 1 for Project Life Goal. I had to switch over to working on the horizontal stabilizer because I'm still waiting on the rivet gun to be able to attach the skin to the vertical stabilizer. So we've still got plenty of work that we can do in the meantime while we wait for that. And let's go ahead and take a look at what I've done so far for the rear spar assembly. So back to the bench grinder for deburring. These are the doublers for the rear spar assembly as part of the horizontal stabilizer. My intent was to actually remove the wheel guards to make more of the wheel accessible and prevent the possibility of a part getting wedged between the wheel and the tool rest that are attached to it. I just haven't gotten around to it, but it's on my list. I didn't completely round off the edges on the rear spar doublers, mostly because I wanted to keep moving along. Uh, I'll take care of that final forming of those later on uh, before I go to prime. If you're working on your own build project, leave a comment below. Let me know what your favorite part of the build process has been so far. The plans call to Clico every second or third hole. Here I decided to Clico every other hole or every second hole. I wanted to make sure that everything was well connected together with minimal amounts of movement since I'm obviously not working on the flattest of work platforms and trying to keep it elevated so that the work is not resting on the tips of those Clicos underneath. Seeing this time-lapse footage of the match drilling I find kind of entertaining. Here I am up drilling some of the hinge bracket points to a number 21. I went ahead and I marked those ahead of time. The match drilling of the hinge brackets here for the horizontal stabilizer is much like that for the vertical stabilizer. The largest difference is this uh, center hinge since it has the captive bearing that you have to rivet between them. So here I am preparing to match drill those brackets since only one of them is pre-punched with all of the necessary holes and you use that as a form to continue drilling the holes through the other hinge bracket. I decided to use the angle drill to not have to remove any more clicos than necessary. I didn't want the rear spar or the spar doubler moving on me while I was doing that drilling operation. It did take a bit more time since that angle drill is a bit slower, but it wasn't awful. For some reason I chose to use the hand squeezer and then I switched to the pneumatic squeezer. Uh, at the time I don't recall exactly why I made that decision. You have to up drill the holes uh, to accept bolts for that center hinge. That's what I'm doing here. I actually had uh, a couple different drills set up so that I could step through different size drill bits to get them up to the correct size. And that's where we're at so far for the rear assembly on the horizontal stabilizer. As of right now, we've got 14 hours of build time on this project. 23 hours once you include inventory and cleaning items, and then 36 hours once you add in the video editing. I have to say, uh, I'm a little sorry that this video isn't longer. I was quite enjoying uh, editing this one. Um, this was the new way that I started labeling the parts so that I can hide all of those markings but still have very clear indications of the orientation of all the parts. So that's probably what style I'll be using going forward since I'll be priming all of my components. The next step is for us to start working on the front spar assembly, which I have already started. So look for that video in the near future. If you like this video, guys, give it a, a like. It helps me out. If you're enjoying following this process, you have a comment or a suggestion, leave a comment below. And then if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, follow along, and hit the bell to get notifications every time I post a new video. Thanks so much and have a great week.